I've been making fins for close on 10 years now. The start was really difficult. What I've come to realize over, over this time period is that I'm a, I'm a novice uh, in terms of sailing. There are certain things that a pro is able to tell due to their experience, due to their time on the water. That's something that you can't buy. It's, it's experience, experience, experience. One of the things I've learned over the years is um, I was using a lot of the pros to get feedback. They'll give you what they are wanting from a fin and that's what you, you expect because they've tested and tried so much equipment. Not a lot of them are able to tell me why these things are happening and I think that that was my dilemma over the years is that I was trying to, to get a fin to do different things and um, I didn't understand the, the inner workings and it's not something that you can study out of a book. It's, it's a feeling, it's, it comes from experience. the opportunity to try most of the fin on the market and none of them was like fitting to what I want. For me the aspect of a good slum fin is something like you have power to push as much as you want, you have some lot, lot of glide to, to go fast and a good start planning and a good jive. I think that's that's what was very unique about this relationship with Cyril Musumani. I met him in, in Cape Town in, in January uh, 2019 and I asked him very politely to try one of my fins. He said, look, the, the fin's okay. He said it's got potential, but it's nowhere, you know, where it should be in terms of what he's used to. I was feeling like the product was almost at the point like uh, where I want to go. So he then, you know, very kindly suggested a couple of things and I suddenly I thought, well, this is very different kind of feedback because of the fact that usually I'm told what's wrong with the fin. I'm not told how to fix the fin. We started a process, he was in Marseille, I'm in Cape Town, and uh, we started sending fins back and forth. We took a certain size, I made five of those fins, obviously slightly different, and with that he would choose the best. I would take that layup and I would do a number of changes to it and I'd send him another five. Eventually I opened up uh, and I basically drew up a spreadsheet of exactly what I was putting into the fin and I basically spilled my heart and I said, please, can you help me? Immediately he came back, change this, move that, uh, shorten this, which I did. Within one millimeter of tolerance, which is fantastic. Basically, over a period of a year now, I've sent him nearly a hundred fins, and it sounds like a lot. Suddenly, the fins started to work differently. Finally, I found a person who's as passionate as me uh, with regards to the equipment uh, that he's using, and uh, he, was, he was able to give me a solution. I know what kind of fin uh, I want and what is the direction to, to go. I try to make a fin which is uh, super easy to handle and uh, pretty fast and uh, with a very good jive. It feels like it's not there um, because it's an incredibly thin cord. Um, the acceleration is amazing, especially coming out of the jibes. Uh, that's because of the bend curve, because you can push it. Lift is the holy grail. Um, everybody's looking for lift on a fin. You want a fin that's going to give your board enough lift so that you have a minimal amount of uh, board sitting in the water. You've got to be at the correct angle. And from that perspective, it all comes down to the profile of the fin and the bend of the fin. The rider experience at the end of the day is comfort. Uh, with comfort comes confidence. With confidence comes speed. That's as simple as it is. I need to switch it on. <laughs>